We'll go live to Melbourne for a Twins update in two minutes. But first, as you've seen in the news, Independent Senator Nick Xenophon has used the cover of parliamentary privilege to launch a scathing attack on the Church of Scientology. Speaking in the Senate, which protects him from defamation, Xenophon raised allegations of widespread criminal conduct within the Church. Scientology is not a religious organisation. It is a criminal organisation that hides behind its so-called religious beliefs. There are allegations of false imprisonment, coerced abortions and embezzlement of church funds, of physical violence and intimidation, blackmail and the widespread and deliberate abuse of information obtained by the organisation. It is alleged that information about suspicious deaths and child abuse has been destroyed and one follower has admitted that he was coerced by the organisation into perjuring himself during investigations into the deaths of his two daughters. These victims of Scientology claim it is an abusive, manipulative, violent and criminal organisation and that criminality is condoned at the highest levels. These victims of Scientology have spoken out at considerable personal risk and I commend them for that. And I would encourage other victims of Scientology to come forward, contact the police, contact my office but most importantly speak out. I say to all Australians, as you fill in your tax return next July or August, ask yourself how do you feel knowing that you're paying tax, yet this criminal organisation is not? Do you want Australian tax exemptions to be supporting an organisation that coerces its followers into having abortions? Do you want to be supporting an organisation that defrauds, that blackmails, that falsely imprisons? Because on the balance of evidence provided by victims of Scientology, you probably are. Strong words from the Senator and he's calling for a Senate inquiry into the religion and its tax-exempt status. Not surprisingly, the Church of Scientology has responded and I quote this morning, this is an outrageous abuse of parliamentary privilege from a Senator who would not even meet with Church representatives several months ago to discuss his concerns. Senator Xenophon is obviously being pressured by disgruntled former members who use hate speech and distorted accounts of their experience in the church. They are about as reliable as former spouses are when talking about their partner. Senator Xenophon's attempt to marginalise Scientologists by saying that they should not be believed is, and I'm quoting here, fascistic and violates freedom of speech and the right to religious beliefs. It is former members or apostates that are notoriously unreliable as witnesses. This is a propaganda campaign that would suit a totalitarian regime, not a Australia, a country that recognises freedom of religion. End of quote. Over to you, Carl.